Although you wouldn't guess it by looking at them, these two radios share the same circuit board. This is an Emerson 888 Pioneer from 1957. I've already done a video on this, so uh, just you know, take a look at my channel if you want to see that. This is the Canadian Marconi Model 588, also from 1957. Uh, the data I could find online said you know, 1958 slash 59 for this model, but the circuit board is the 1957 version of the 888, so it uh, must date from 1957. Now this radio uses a um, you know modified circuit board out of one of these guys. They didn't just use it straight up. They uh, took the speaker off the uh, circuit board and then added these two I believe they were five inch speakers uh, to the sides of the radio and then they added a big pulley onto the tuning capacitor so it could be driven by this knob here and they also relocated the volume control over to here the radio works pretty well uh, which I guess I would expect since these radios work pretty well Although this one's not as sensitive as some of my other 888 sets. Probably could use some further alignment work. Or maybe it has a weak transistor. You gotta be careful not to crank it too far up. It still has the same output stage as the uh, 888 does. So they're not power transistors. Way on down It was a 91-78 loss at Washington. LeBron James and the Cavs. I think this is a uh, fairly attractive radio. It certainly has an unusual design. See, it's got these nice uh, painted on stripes. And the, you know, uh, piece here is reverse painted plastic. Now I thought I had taken pictures of the chassis, which I would have otherwise added to the video, but unfortunately I neglected to do so. And I don't feel like disassembling the set again. The original back was missing off of this set, so I made a replacement. Uh, whoever owned the set before me, you know, pulled out these little uh, pins and uh, took off the back, and then just pushed the pins back into the holes without replacing the back, because they were too lazy to keep uh, taking that on and off. So I just made this out of a cardboard box. Now it hinges up. I don't think the original did that. Unfortunately, the serial number and model number and all that good stuff was uh, printed on the bottom cover, and now that's lost. Not a great spot to uh, put that information. Anyway, this set runs off of 6 D cells, so it runs off of 9 volts instead of uh, 6 volts like the 888 sets do. I think they modified uh, some of the resistors to change biasing around, but I uh, don't remember, and like I said, I forgot to take pictures. You can see down there is the uh, pulley on the tuning dial. And there are those big speakers. These battery tubes are very annoying, uh, you know, to get screwed shut. A couple of American makers use similar cardboard tubes to hold the batteries. They're always troublesome. I added that tape on there just to keep the uh, previously uninsulated ends from shorting out on 
the chassis or the speakers or whatever as you're loading batteries it could always be removed Well, thanks for watching.